but uh, there's a re there's been research on school bullying. So put the, put up that research. I, let me talk about that in a minute. The results indicate this was in some schools that we observed it in and measured it. Uh, observed bullying incidents from mid November to mid January, factoring the, in the holiday break. It was about six weeks between the two surveys. The first survey was before the campaign started, and then six weeks later was after the campaign had been in, in, in effect for six weeks. And there was a drop in every question on the survey. And the biggest drops occurred in the following questions. Number Question number two, making other students scared. There was a 50% drop in that. In, in, in a group, teasing other students, 41% drop. Uh, fighting students that they could easily beat, 53% uh, drop. Uh, all these were highly significant drops when we looked at the numbers we had. Uh, harassing other students, 41%. Threatening other students, 48%. Uh, hitting back after being hit and spreading rumors about other students, encouraging other students to fight. And, and the most encouraging results were that the teachers observed a 67% increase in the kind acts that students did to each other. Now, one of the things I did was this kindness button that I used in the community a lot. And, and uh, I found that uh, if I gave each teacher like five or six of these, then it was up for the teacher to start the process by catching some student in their class doing something kind for uh, some other student or for themselves. And then they gave them a button, they wore it, and then their job was to pass it on to somebody else either in that classroom, they could wear it all day and they had to then turn it in at the end of the day. And so she kept resupplying that way. And so every day she would get the, the five buttons. Although some of them, some of the guys and girls said, please let me take this home. I want to share my, show this to my parents. Well, I said, you can tell them about it and take a picture of you wearing the button if you want, but we need the button back at the end of the day. So that way I didn't have to resupply every day our uh, teachers. And so that worked out okay. And the teachers uh, would say that uh, uh, obviously they observed an, uh, a 67% increase in kind acts that do, the students did to each other in their classes. So that, that showed me that, uh, again, my premise was that if you focus on the positive and get people focusing on this positive, the negative will will drop corresponding to the amount of time and effort that they're putting into focusing on the on the positive. So it uh, it, it it again was an initial kind of result that uh, showed me that what we were doing was working, and we just had to keep doing what we were doing to keep work it working. So uh, the next one is a. a uh, looking at the expected outcomes that we we tried to come up with, and and we tried to measure them in a different way, a couple different ways. So there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen different variables, outcomes that we we thought would be influenced by a a kinder and safer school climate. So reducing the discipline referrals to the office. And obviously they're just counting the number of referrals. A pre and post was an easy way to measure that. Uh, and then the same way with reducing student to student put downs, so put down survey, pre and post, uh, bullying survey, pre and post on the third one, reducing suspensions and, and, and expulsions. And that was simple too. We could just count the number pre, pre and post that uh, were occurring in that school. And in all cases, I'll tell you about the results of this one a little bit, but then we said that we thought that this would lead to an increase in school achievement, like the achievement test scores would increase pre and post. And, and that did happen. And increased school attendance. We knew that some people stayed away from school because of the presence of put-downs and bullying. And so Again, looking at attendance records pre and post, we could tell. Increased participation in school activities. We thought if people felt better at school about their experience there, they would participate more with other students in, in activities, which again, we measured before the campaign started and then afterwards. 
uh, increased so pro-social behaviors. We had a, a teacher who's a teacher survey that observed pro-social behaviors pre and post. And, and we had increased self-esteem and personal power. And we had a student self-esteem survey that we did pre and post with the students. Increasing nonviolent resolution of peer conflicts, that would have been a result of our, uh, our uh, conflict resolution class. And we had a bullying survey that, that measured that, uh, whether there were more fights or uh, uh, how, how many nonviolent resolutions happened. Increased resistance to peer pressures. Again, the bullying survey seemed to, uh, uh, to measure that. And so again, pre and post. Increased empathy, sensitivity, and relationship skills. The bullying survey was able to tap into that one and tell that increases in that one. And increased participation of parents in the school. Obviously, that would uh, be parent volunteers. Uh, and you just had to count the number of parent volunteers before the campaign started and the number afterwards. And then we lastly, we wanted to look at teacher self-esteem. Did this program have any effect on teachers' behavior? And we developed an inventory, a self-esteem inventory for teachers that we did pre and post. And so all of those gave us a pretty good idea of whether this program was working or not. And, and we were very much interested in finding out. And then the last thing is uh, evaluation results. Uh, I'm going to, I summarize them pretty, pretty succinctly, but, uh, and we did, uh, three middle schools and one elementary school where we evaluated this and the three separate, uh, middle schools reported an immediate drop of 30 to 32% in discipline referrals, uh, after an all school assembly and three weeks of kindness activities in the school and classroom. Put downs observed by teachers dropped as much as 94% after three weeks of the kindness campaign. And a year long study showed that uh, in an elementary school that showed a 26% drop in, in discipline referrals. All of that was positive and led to uh, having teachers and administrators have more time to devote to thinking about positive things instead of putting out fires and, and having to deal with negative things in the classroom. So that, that, that's sort of a summary of what we did, but all the other variables that were on that outcomes variable, uh, uh, expected outcomes, were positive, and we found positive results. So we knew it was working, and, and, and obviously the, the, the most important thing is, did it change the school climate? And my observation was, in the schools that carried this out, the school climate increased and, and changed to be more positive and made the school safer, made the school, the students feel better, there was more kindness displayed. And so it, it worked. And, and basically, the evaluation process was not very laborious. It just simply sometimes just, you know, connecting with the re existing records that they had. Uh, and, and in some cases, asking people to produce a pre-post uh, measure, like on put downs and bullying and things like that, or, or and number of referrals to the office for discipline. Obviously, was, was easy to to measure, and all the others were were pretty easy to measure as well. So that's what we did to find out whether this worked, and we found out it did. 